and all that too. Okay, so we are starting mixture. I think mixture is easier. I think motion is the hardest out of this unit. Um, then I think investment's the second hardest, and I think mixture is the easiest. Okay, and it's because there's no like you know with motion, it's like you could set it up this way, but you could also set it up this way, but you could also that's not here. There's no question on how you set it up. It's always going to be the same. Okay, so I like to draw these lines to make them bolder. So they stand out to me. So pretty much mixture is exactly what it sounds like. We're mixing two things to create something we want. Okay, this happens in real life. A lot of our examples are science. Some of them aren't. But um, so this first one says a chemist has one solution that's 50% sulfuric acid. He has another solution that's 20% sulfuric acid. And it says how much... Um, how much of each should she use to make 12 liters of 30% sulfuric acid? So what I want you to realize is at the top of this table, it's what you have. Okay? At the bottom of the table, it's what you want. So what did we want to create? The 30% sulfuric acid. But remember with percents, we always change them into what? Decimal, so 30%, move it twice, it becomes 0 0.30, this is what I want, and I want 12 liters of it, okay? Now the 50%, if I turn it into a decimal, it's 0.5, and I don't know how much, 20%, change to a decimal, is 0 0.20, okay? But if I'm mixing two things to create 12 liters, isn't that the total that these two should equal? Yeah, because if I'm pouring two different liquids, it's going to be 12 liters total. So knowing that with totals, remember our first unknown is x, and our second unknown is always the total minus x. Now one thing I want you to realize is these two amounts should always add up to the bottom. Well, doesn't x and negative x cancel each other and it equals 12? Yes, yeah, so these two will always add up to give you the, the bottom because amounts have to make sense. Okay, this is just the describer, so this is a little different. Okay, you'll never plug anything in over here, kind of like with motion. We didn't ever plug in distance. You're never going to plug this in. You're going to multiply. So 0 0.50 times x is just 0.5x. 0 0.2 times this, well, you're going to have to distribute. And then 0 0.3 times 12 is 3.6. Okay, the best part about this is that's the hard part. Okay, this is your math problem. Mixture, what are you doing when you're making a mixture? Are you adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing things? You're adding. You're putting these two things together to create that. So 0.5x plus 0.2, 12 minus x equals what I want, which is 3.6. It's always going to work that way. You're always adding these two to get that. Does that make sense? Okay. So then we solve. Just like we have everything before this, okay? So what am I going to do first? Yeah, I'm going to distribute. I'm going to multiply. So 0 0.2 times 12 is going to be 2.4. I'm going to bring down that 0.5x so I don't forget about it. And then 0 0.2 times negative x is negative 0.2x. I feel like we should cheer along too. I'm just kidding. Maybe if it happens again. The people I'm recording for, they're going to be like... Whoa. Anyways, I'm going to stop. Okay, so talking to myself. So 0.5 minus 0.2 is 0.3 because they're on the same side. I use the exact symbols they have. I'm not doing opposites. Okay, so 0.3x plus 2.4 equals 3.6. Now what? Subtract the 2.4. That's exactly right. And I get 3.6 minus 2.4 is 1.2. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 0.3. And I get x equals 4. OK, 
Okay, now, I'm not done. I don't just box the four and move on. These are word problems, okay? We're probably going to have to label our numbers and make sure they're in the right spot. So it says, how much of each solution should she use? Well, amount is this column only. So this is the only column I'm looking for. I'm not multiplying it with anything. Do we understand? Okay, well, x equals four. So I'm using four liters of the 50% solution. And then, well, what's 12 minus 4? So 8 liters of the 20% solution. And that will create the 30% solution of 12 liters, or 12 liters of the 30% solution. Okay? Any questions with number 1's example? Okay, let's look at number 2. So again, I'm going to draw my bolder lines. Okay, this one's not science, okay? This one's um, cashews and hazelnuts. Okay, fancy cashews are not selling at $9 per pound because they're too expensive. However, hazelnuts are selling well at $6 per pound. How many pounds of hazelnut hazelnuts should be combined with 50 pounds of cashews to obtain a mixture that can be sold for $7 per pound. Well, your kind here is going to be money, which I should have labeled up here was our percent. Okay. So this one's money. So I know that my first thing I have is $9 per pound cashews. I know that I also have hazelnuts for $6 per pound. And I'm wanting to make a mixture that I can sell for $7 per pound. It also tells me that I'm combining um, how many pounds of hazelnut should I combine with 50 pounds of cashews. Wrong color. 50 pounds of cashews. So I know the amount for cashews is 50. This is my cashews. This is my hazelnuts. Do I know how much hazelnuts I'm combining with that. No. no, it literally said how many pounds of hazelnuts. We don't know. Then for our total, remember, amounts are just added. And now we multiply across. Nine times 50 is 450. And then six times x is just 6x. Okay, and remember, that's the hard part, so now we're just adding to equal. So 450 plus 6x equals 7 times 50 plus x. What do I do? Distribute. What's 7 times 50? 7 times x? I'm going to bring down what I haven't moved over here. Okay, and I always like to move my smallest variable first. Which one is that? 6x. So minus 6x minus 6x. And that leaves me with 450 equals 350 plus 1x. Or could I just write plus x? Yeah, you don't have to put the 1 in front. Okay. And what's my last step? And I get x equals what? 100. Now, again, we got to go read the question. It said, how many pounds of hazelnuts? Well, amount for hazelnuts is just x. So it's 100 pounds of hazelnuts. Any questions with that? Nobody's buying 100 pounds. The store is making that. What if the question said, how many pounds was the, the mixture? You would do 50 plus 100, and what would it be? A 100-pound mixture or whatever. Okay, does that make sense? So always pay attention to that question. No? Oh, okay, just make sure. Huh? So I was saying, if the question, so this one just said, how many pounds of hazelnuts? So it's just X. But I was saying, if the question asked you how many pounds was the final mixture, 
you would just do 50 plus x, which is 50 plus 100, and we would have said 150 pounds. Does that make sense? Okay. So last one I'm going to do with y'all. Again, this one's kind of science-y. Okay, so it says, how many liters of pure baking soda must be added to 200 liters of 30% to get a 60% solution? So I know I want a 60% solution, which is 0.60. Okay, I know I have a pure baking soda and I have 200 liters of a 30%. Well, 200 liters of a 30% is going to look like that, right? What do you think pure? What represents pure? 100%. What's 100% as a decimal? So this is going to be 1. And it says how many liters. So do we know the amount? No, that's what we want to know. And so remember, our total is just going to be the top two added. So 1 times x is just 1x. 0.3 times 200 is 60. And then here I'm going to distribute. Any questions with what I have on my table? Do we understand that pure always means 100%? Okay. So we're going to set that as, as addition. 1x plus 60 equals 0.6 times x plus 200. So first things first, I need to get rid of my distribution. Point 0.6 times 200 is a 120. Now what do I do? I need to, I always like to move my smallest variable first. So I'm going to do minus 0.6x, minus 0.6x. 1 minus 0.6 is 0.4. Now what? Subtract the 60. And I get 0.4x equals 60. And then I divide both sides by 0.4, and I get x equals 150. Got to check my work, or check my question. How many liters of pure? Well, x represents the amount for pure. So we would say 150 liters. On this second two, you don't necessarily have to label the of hazelnuts, you could just say 100 pounds because the question was specific. The question said, how many pounds of hazelnuts? So if you say 100 pounds, that makes sense, right? Now on the first one, you can't just say 4 liters and 8 liters because 4 liters of what? 8 liters of what? Does that make sense? So that's what you're working on. There are 8 practice problems. <laughs>